there's that. But I would say trust your gut 100%. If you have a gut feeling that something is happening, something is happening, and you need to, like, go based off of that. Also, communicate with the other person if you think something's happening. Just coming from what I'm in right now, if you think something is happening, I would want to communicate it with me, right? So, in the situation that I'm in, someone else thinks that because someone else texted me first that I was cheating. Out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. And it was like, I was like, what are you even talking about? And it was not really blown out of proportion because we never really talked about it. But it was like, I, an outside source was telling everyone like, oh, I think that, I think Owen's cheating. Like, I don't want you to get hurt. Just out of nowhere. And it was like, okay, but if you don't think I am, and like, we're not, like, we've talked about this. Yeah. Like, go ahead, go through my phone. Like, I, like, hello. Yeah. Someone just texted me that, like, I never even was a thing with someone who liked me previously months ago. You remember? And I, I wanted nothing to do with them. Absolutely nothing to do with them. So, um, I, why, also, here's the other thing. Why would I put that on my private story for everyone to see if I was cheating on someone? Like, why is that a thing? I don't, I don't understand. But, ladies and gentlemen, communicate with your partners. Communicate. Because, please, thank you. It's crazy. And, like, honestly, I, I didn't want to end our, like, situationship, whatever. Because I was, I had feelings for this person. We were together for seven months. And by together, I mean, Fake we did everything together. Everybody in town and our school and everything thought that we were dating. But we never put, like, an official label on it. And, of course, that's horrible. And it hurts really bad to end something like that. But you also have to think that if you're in a situation chip with somebody like that... <laughs> being treated like that what would a relationship look like with that person it wouldn't look good and it wouldn't work because that person is not somebody that understands how a relationship and how trust and how loyalty works somebody was not committed to the relationship it's just not in order to have a relationship you need both sides putting in the committed effort and if there's any factors in the way of that it's not going to work and there are some people in the world like me who are very, very, very patient and will wait for everyone in the relationship to be ready and stuff. And there are some people who don't, I don't want to say aren't patient, don't have it in them, but some people don't have the time to wait. And yeah. I don't really think I have the time to wait. And I've been told no. I don't have the time to wait. Yeah. Um, I really don't, but I'm holding out. So... <laughs> There are some things, you know, your best friend's always going to know better than you. I guess. I mean, I just have had experiences with relationships before, and I'm the type I of person. I have two. Not good ones. No, exactly. Not good ones. And Maybe I'm, that's where she's coming literally, from. Literally, and I'm the type of person, I openly will admit this, I will give my 100% effort up front, and a lot of the times, that bites me in the ass, because then the other person doesn't have to try as hard, and they can get away with that's shit. That's literally... They can get away with shit because I put in their amount of effort. Yeah. And, and you're the one keeping it alive. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And that's absolutely what happened. That happened with my ex-boyfriend. That happened with this situation. Like, that happens before, but I am just too giving. And it's not that I wanted a relationship because I went almost two and a half years without a relationship. Like, we broke up. My ex-boyfriend and I that were together for two years. We broke up almost two years ago. Keep in mind, we and went into this situation ship saying nothing is yeah, going to happen. Like we don't we, want a relationship. I was not expecting to get feelings. I was not expecting for any of that. So the fact that this happened, I was happy that this happened. And then to be treated like that at the very end and then lied to and then like coerced into thinking that nothing was happening was just insulting because it was like, like you think that I'm not, like you think I'm stupid. Like I've been cheated on before. That's another thing. If the person that you are with has been cheated on before, they have like a sixth sense about things like that. Like you're not going to get away with you're it. You're not going to get away with it. Because it, like you just get a feeling and like you know, and nothing that that person is going to say or do is going to take that feeling away. And at the end of the day, like you're done. Like you're done. I personally don't understand. 
understand how someone can live with themselves after cheating on someone else. Here's me. There's one thing that I would like always preach in this world. It is like one of the first things that we talked about. Like I, you knew this too. When we first started talking and like we kind of kept talking, I literally said, is this exclusive? I needed to know if it's exclusive yeah. because I'm not going to talk to anyone else if what we have is exclusive. And I will, like, loyalty is so big to me. It's so big to me. So that's why when um, she was like, oh, I think, like, he's cheating on you, whatever. I was so taken back because I'm the one who, like, was pushing so hard for this to be exclusive. And I'm the one pushing so hard, like, for the relationship. Like, love, 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 love. But it was just, I breached loyalty. Breached loyalty. I don't know anyone can live with themselves after cheating on a significant other. Oh my god, like, I can't, I don't know how you can just try to get away with that and not no. think how damaging that is. No, and I, I don't think that, honestly, what's mind-blowing to me is that this was beyond cheating. This wasn't, he texted another girl and I caught him. This man was living a double life. He was with me all the time to the point that people thought we were dating. My niece, um, Kayla's sister... Um, when my niece was born, like, we went to her gender reveal, we went to her baby shower, like, he's really good friends with her baby daddy, like, we would do things you together. You calling him a baby daddy? Well, that's what he is, I mean, he's her boyfriend, but whatever. You could have said that! But, oh like, my god. They're still together. But anyway, um, but, like, we put, he put on that facade of, like, we're together, we do things together with, like, a group, we go on dates, we do all that stuff. And then, meanwhile, he's snapping other girls and getting, Don't worry. He's not just snapping them either. Oh, yeah. He's um, getting, like, booty pics and, he's, like... He's sleeping with them. No, he's not sleeping with Did them. Did he not? No. He, he didn't. No, he didn't sleep with them. Since when? Um, f- forever. He didn't sleep with them. He um, would, like, get pictures on his phone all the time, and he would text other girls and all this stuff like that, which I didn't know because I, I wasn't going through. Girl. That he slept with her. No, he did not sleep with her. Good, um, good but damn, yeah, I thought no, he did. No, um, I'm glad you're relieved by that. Um, <laughs> no, but um, yeah, like he lived a double life, and it's insane to me how somebody can like categorize themselves in such a different way. Like you've literally lived two lives in one day. You've kept up with this whole fake dating situation ship, but you've also replied to all of your hoes on Snapchat and texted them and whatever, like, in one day, seamlessly sliding from one to the other to the other to the other without anybody realizing, like, none of his friends knew, and that's one thing that I will say, is we have had, like, kind of mutual thre- friends throughout the high school years and everything, and I've asked them, I was like, did you know that this was happening? Did you know that he was texting her? And they looked at me and they were like, Molly, I'm not joking you, no. Like, we all thought that you guys were dating, like, we thought that you guys were together based off of what he told me. Like, he made one of his friends add me on Snapchat because his phone was dead and he wanted me to, like, get the goodnight text. Like, that's the level of, like, intimacy that this person Oh, see, if with. someone did that to me, that'd be great. That's literally, that's yeah. Real. I that's, didn't know that. Yeah, like, that's wow. the level that this man was giving me of, like, we are together. The security, not me knowing that he's actually living a double life that his friends don't know about, that I didn't know about, that any of that, because he hit it so well. So it's like, yeah, you think that somebody is being 100% genuine with you, but they're not. Like, you never really know. And I, I would have never, no, I would have never known. Like, I literally would have never known. And I never liked him either. I never liked him. And I never knew that. I never knew that he would, like, do that stuff. I just always had my impressions of him. And let me tell you, she said that once you've been cheated on, you have a sixth sense. Gingers have, like, 16 senses. I'm not kidding. You always know my ex-boyfriend was a ginger and he cheated on me. (laughs) I'm not saying gingers are good people. I think we need to eradicate gingers. I hate gingers. They're horrible. But they're, this is going to sound crazy. She knows it's true, though. We are right, like, 99% of the time. I'm right all the time when we're talking about anything. I'm I'm not saying like I'm I'm always like I'm smart. No, I have instincts. Like we have crazy ginger instincts, and I have always said I don't like him. I don't trust us, whatever. And if I go into like if I can meet someone for the first time and tell so much about them, and she, we've done it before, it's crazy. I'm really good at people reading. Can always tell when something's up. Knows exactly what's up. And I never liked him. <clears throat> Sharding sound. Did you just choke trying to not no, make it? No, the bottle, like. Oh, I thought you choked it, trying to make it quieter. Went in when I was drinking and then when I, like, released. That was my ankle. That's what happened. Anyway, enjoy the sharding sound. What is next up on our discussion? Um, 
possible. Like, I'm going to get there, and I'm just going to want to sleep, and I'm going to want to cry. I bought a toaster oven, a rug, and a mirror today. Hello. Like, I really hope that you get Tello Fresh meals, because that's the only way that I know that this kid is going to eat a fucking meal. She, oh my god, guys, I because don't eat. Just, no, it's not that you eat, it's that when you do eat, you eat, like, pasta with butter, and that's your entire meal for the entire and day. And don't worry, it's like, yeah, it's one meal a day, and it's like nothing. This is the only reason I'm eating like, this right now. She makes me. I'm going to be 10 hours away relying on the fact that this man has enough morella pasta to get him through the week. No. And you know it's whole wheat too and you know I cooked it in my microwave. Like, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I, she's going to text me, what did you eat today? And I'm going to be like, a, a fourth of a pop tart in a, in a bottle of water. like personal stuff I guess like I can just I'm just fine with like not eating for a while don't recommend it obviously but um she's already like I, every, look every time we talk about it she gets stressed every time we talk about living on my own because I'm very independent I'm very responsible but I can't eat and she is it's terrible I just don't know how he's going to number one do his laundry I can't do laundry and either two shit I forgot about my laundry like actually I'm so worried for him <laughs> like I'm gonna have to teach him how to be an adult just those two. Yeah. It's just, I can't do laundry. Yeah, of course, you can sit on your couch and watch TV and drink coffee. Everybody can do that, Owen. But it's about, like, can you make dinner? Can you eat? Can you put Can your, you shut up? Could, this could is, you put laundry in? No. Okay. That's, those are the only things I can't do. Um, and let me, let me explain myself. So, I, I can cook in moderation. <laughs> <laughs> I can cook. In moderation, I can't make myself pasta and grilled chicken and salads, and that's all I eat. Like, I could probably make this. Like, if I had rice and grilled chicken and a wrap, I could make a burrito. Like, but I can't cook, like, you know, like, I can't, you can't tell me, here, make, like, mashed potatoes from scratch. And, like, make me sit there and, like, peel the potatoes and stuff. Like, I'm not doing that. Absolutely not. So that's just what I, that's what I mean. Like, I can make, like, rice bowls and that kind of stuff. But I'm not, like, making food from scratch to, like, feed a family of four. It's just gingy. Like, it's just the ginger. The ginger ninja. Like, I am not gonna sit there and... No. But, um, the other... The laundry thing. Um, it, it is embarrassing. But I, I've simply just never done laundry. Either my mother or we had a housekeeper. Like, a cleaner. Like, a cleaning lady. Who, who did, like, our laundry. And, like, cleaned our rooms and that kind of stuff. So, I never had to do laundry. Yeah. 
she's gonna sit here and make me finish every single bite. Yep, clean plate club. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please go subscribe to Owen's channel. I mean, you already probably have subscribed to his channel. But, um, we hit 10k, guys. Q&A coming soon. <laughs> his Q&A is coming soon. It's a slow process, but it's coming. So. There are so many questions, and I have to figure out how to answer them and, like, what to answer. Because, like, if you say boxers or briefs, I'm not answering that. It's like, we remember seeing that. Why did, why would you ask that? Anyway, I don't know. Hello. But thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone. <clears throat> my foot's asleep. My foot's asleep. My...